This morning we will witness the activation of Squadron 6 and the assumption of command of the new unit by Cadet Major Fernando Aguilera. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the posting of the colors, the playing of the national anthem, and the invocation. The invocation will be provided by the Corps Chaplain, Cadet Major Stuart Scott. Please bow your heads in accordance with your faith. Dear Heavenly Father, we gather here today to ask your blessing on our new unit forming our Corps. We ask that you bless this leadership with clarity of mind and strength of spirit. May you watch over them with great favor and guide them in the paths of righteousness. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce our special guest with us here today, Governor Rick Perry, Class of 72, the Regents, Dr. Richard Box and his wife, Lynn, Mr. Jim Schwertner and his wife, Patty, Mr. John White and his wife, Daisy, Mr. John Sharp, Chancellor, Mr. Jim Olson, Bush School of Government and Public Service, Lieutenant General Joe Weber, BPSA, Brigadier General Ed Yadish. Wow, what a crowd. Howdy. Howdy. What a great day to be at Aggieland, and what a great day for our Corps of Cadets. Again, I'd like to recognize all of our special guests and say thank you for coming today for this very special event for our Corps. Welcome everyone to this special ceremony where we bring together the past, with the present focused on the future. Today, we reactivate Squadron 6, Savage 6, and add their guide on and their storied history to the ranks of the Corps of Cadets once again. As we continue to grow the Corps, we look forward to adding more outfits to our ranks, and this is a third of what I hope will be many more units that we will bring back to our Corps. As part of the third wing, Squadron 6 will not only bring back a distinguished history, it will also begin a new era in our core with the current members of the outfit. I look forward to a long, proud future for Savage 6, one filled with success and achievement that we can all be proud of. Cadet Commander Fernando Aguilera, Executive Officer Daniel Parker, First Sergeant James Dickens, and all of the other new members of Squadron 6 are charged with the responsibility of setting high standards and striving for excellence in all that they, that they and their new unit do. I have every confidence that they will achieve that and chart a path for continued success for 7-6 for the future. Congratulations to all the new members of Squadron 6. You are part of something very special today, something that all of the former members of 7-6 will tell you that you remember the rest of your lives. 
I charge all of you to be the very best that you can be and to make Squadron 6 the very best unit in the Corps. I have no doubt that you will. Congratulations also to all the former members of Squadron 6. This day has been a long time coming, and I'm proud that we can make this happen for all of you today. I ask all of you to work with the new members of Squadron 6 and carry on the proud history and tradition of Savage 6 and focus on the success and achievement that we all seek for Squadron 6. Thanks again to all of you for attending this special ceremony. We look forward to many more in the future as we continue to grow our Corps. God bless Squadron 6. God bless our Corps of Cadets. God bless our beloved Texas A&M. God bless the great state of Texas. And God bless America. Thank you. Gig them. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the reading of the orders of Squadron 6 is activated and Cadet Major Aguilera assumes command. Attention to orders, effective 10-11 January 2013, Squadron 6 is activated and assigned to 3rd Wing Corps Cadets, Texas A&M University. Cadet Major Fernando Aguilera is assigned duties as commanding officer of Squadron 6 and reports to the commander of 3rd Wing. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, we'd like to welcome Governor Rick Perry, class of 72, and former member of Squadron 6 to make some brief comments. So here, almost 10 years later, uh, John is taking 
uh, full credit for the reestablishment of Squadron 6. We, you know, the, the fact is that one of the reasons I came over here today was to set the record straight. And the record is that the reason Squadron 6 is back in place, not because of the Class of 7, but because of the Class of 72. And uh, we, we had to end up getting a member of our class to be the chancellor of the university uh, to make that uh, become a reality. So, Sharp, well done once again. Uh, you made our class look good. With all seriousness, I would, uh, I would be remiss if, if uh, I didn't share with you just a bit of uh, a memory of, of this squadron, of this place, and, uh, for our future generations of, of Aggies to come, is that the uh, camaraderie, uh, the uh, the friendships, and, and, and actually it goes past friendship, John. It, it goes to the word of brotherhood uh, that is established here and is molded here, uh, that is fertilized and grown here. It's what this institution, uh, and when I talk about this institution, uh, I talk about it in, in the broad sense of the university and of the Corps of Cadets uh, collectively. Uh, but relationships that are made here last a lifetime. And, and this audience reflects that as we look back through the, the years that are represented in, in, in this audience from the, the 40s all the way through the, uh, the early uh, 21st century of, of people who have been impacted in a very powerful way. Uh, and the, <clears throat> the playful stories, shall we refer to them as that, uh, that are going to be shared uh, over the course of the day and, and, and memories that are going to be uh, <clears throat> ignited uh, that, that were long ago uh, maybe forgotten uh, and, and laughed about and in some cases hopefully forgotten forever. Uh, <clears throat> but this is a place that changes lives for us. And that is part of what today is, is really about, to uh, memorialize and to celebrate uh, the passages that have occurred uh, on this university campus in that quad, right? And the men and women who step forward as members of Squadron 6, I, I think back to um, that very tumultuous time, the late 60s and the fall of 1968, the, uh, the spring of 1969, uh, of seeing um, Joe Bush and his wife, that baby that he never met, and, and the Joe Bush Award being uh, presented on the, on the drill field. And the moment that that occurred for me, that service and sacrifice became a very real value, a very real experience in my life. That being a part of this brotherhood, this fraternity, this entity was more than about yourself. And if there is one great lesson in all of this, it is that you are successful because of those who are there with you. There are other places that pit you against everyone in your class. There are places that you can go to school that's all about you. It's all about how you are going to perform. It's all about how your class rank is. But that's not what Texas a and is all about. 
It's about strengthening the weakest link in the chain. It's about making sure that you take care of your buddy. Those are values that make this institution very much the exception. But it's also the reason that that exceptional university is making a real difference in the world today. And those of you that are in Squadron 6 are now part of a legacy. You are part of a history that is changing Texas and changing the world. That's no small task. It is good to see the tiger flying again. God bless you. Somebody who didn't know me, somebody who's never met me, trusted this organization enough with the leadership that this organization has to leave money so I can go to, go to school. I quickly pulled out a business card from my pocket and I said, sir, please, I want to serve you. I will do anything you want me to do. I will give you a tour of campus every time you come here. I will serve you food, I will serve you drinks, whatever you and your class needs. He then paused again, looked at me in the eye and said, putting his hand on my shoulder, he said, son, I don't need you to do anything for us. All I need you to do is take care of our core. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the day I decided to apply for CEO of Squadron 6. And that is what I think is the epitome of the Aggie spirit, the Aggie family. Aggies helping all the Aggies. You are our legacy, and that is what you have taught us here at AM. You are what I look forward to being like when I graduate from AM. Texas AM former students are great, the, but the fighting Texas Aggie Corps cadet for former students are the best. And to all of you here today, I'll leave you with a message. We will take care of your core with discipline, selfless service, honor, and integrity. And we will, we will make you proud. Thanks and giggling.